An entire subdivision has been evacuated due to a dangerous grass fire burning near the Dias Air Force Base. Good evening, everyone. I'm Courtney Brown. And I'm AJ Gersh. The Abilene Police Department saying the Hampton Hills subdivision has been evacuated as officials are working to put out the Autumn Sage Fire. Take a look at this map. Here's where the fire is located off of U.S. Route 277. As of now, Abilene Fire Department is not confirming what started this fire. K Texas reporter John Rapolo, he's right at the scene of Autumn Sage in 277 with the latest. John. Yeah, you know, Abilene fire officials telling us just moments ago that this fire right now 100% contained. The focus right now for all of these firefighters on scene is to hose down all of those hot spots. These crews are tired. They've been fighting this fire in these very hot temperatures all afternoon. They've come here from all across the region. Take a look at some video that we shot earlier this afternoon. The grass fire starting in a field behind the Hampton Hills subdivision in South Abilene. It spread very quickly. 100 acres were burned, two structures damaged, a mobile home and a residential structure. That structure quickly extinguished with minimal damage. Now, firefighters had to attack the fire from two different directions. Texas A&M Forestry Service did airdrops using fire retardant to put out the flames. Abilene Fire Chief Candy Flores says weather didn't help matters today. Well, the biggest challenge is the dry conditions. Uh, the wind definitely isn't helping. It's changed direction on us probably about six times since we've been here. Um, and every time that uh, it's changed, we've had to chase it. Okay, uh, dozens of residents, as you heard at the top of the newscast, were forced to evacuate by police from the Hampton Hills subdivision. Our K Texas news reporter Nick Bradshaw has that part of our coverage tonight. One Buffalo Gap bus truck using one of our personnel to assist us. It was a Sunday church service like no other. But I pray you give her peace in this moment. Yes. You protect her and her family. Fire has been put out. We're letting it air out. Fire departments protecting homes of people like Shauna off of 277 in South Abilene. It's my mom's house that passed away a few months ago, and that's what I have left. A grass fire started by a welding machine, according to homeowners, spread put in the Hampton Hills neighborhood in danger. You don't protect my house just in case the stuff starts coming back this way. People taking all the precautions to protect their homes. This has been their American dream. I, said, I, was, I was getting ready to go to work, come out, and I see all the smoke coming up right here. A day for worship and watching NFL football interrupted. Started grabbing the bags, started grabbing the pictures, and all the necessities. And that's when the Texas A&M Fire Service made this airdrop. The new life that I've been taking care of. And residents saving what's most important to them. This is Paco. My six-year-old named him. And uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as I started grabbing the bag, I threw Paco in the carrier. And I was like, you know what, this is all we need. Paco and family out of harm's way now. We just praise you for what you're going to do for the deliverance you're bringing yes, to her. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayers answered. You okay? It's going to be okay. Bringing a happy ending to this Sunday afternoon. Copy that, thanks. Nick Bradshaw, K Texas News. Yeah, a very happy ending for many. Uh, now, those uh, residents who were evacuated uh, from the Hampton Hills subdivision, as you heard our Nick Bradshaw talk about and tell you about, they were allowed back into their homes over an hour ago. Some of them telling me earlier this afternoon that they could see flames some 50 yards from their homes. The best part of this story tonight, there were no injuries, as we reported earlier. Just two structures were damaged. As far as here, on the scene. Firefighters are going to remain here through most of the day to continue to battle those hot spots. We're live in South Abilene. John Rapolo, K Texas News.